With no clear leader in the market, companies pursuing a mobile strategy must plan to develop apps that can run on multiple operating systems. But to differentiate their products, different OS vendors offer a very different experience to the end user, making the development of apps that are optimized for multiple environments an expensive and time-consuming process. Using a unique file structure within the studio, Worklight's optimization framework lets developers share the common app code among multiple environments, while isolating environment-specific code in designated folders that can overwrite or augment the commonly shared code base. As a result, application logic remains consistent among the different environments, while the user interface behaves natively and adheres to end-user expectations. Let's see how this works. On the screen, we can see the iOS and Android emulators. And although both apps appear the same, there are already minimal differences, such as the shape of the interactive button. Clicking these buttons will launch two native alert boxes that have been written using the same JavaScript code that is located in the common folder of the application code base. To demonstrate Worklight's optimization framework, let's change the text of the alert boxes as well as the color of the text. In Eclipse, we can see the body of the application. There is a header and a wrapper containing the button and the logo. A button click launches a function called Say Hello. Under the common JavaScript folder, we can see the text of the alert box. As you can see, in the common folder, this code is shared by both the Android and the iOS environments. To make changes that are specific to each environment, we will need to edit the code under their respective folders. Let's start by making the text of the app red when running on Android devices. This can be done by changing the wrapper code under the Android CSS folder. Under the Android JavaScript folder, we can edit the alert box to say Hello from Android. Note that these changes we made were done under the Android environment only. And as a result, when the app runs on Android devices, this code will override the one from the common folder. Let's make changes to the iPhone environment. We'll start by changing the wrapper text to green and change the alert box text to say hello from iPhone. Now that the code has been edited, we can build and deploy the updated app. Once we relaunch the app on each emulator, we are notified that a new version of the app is available. Following the quick update, we can see that the new code overrides the common folder. The text turned green and the alert box changed to say, hello from iPhone. After we repeat the same process for the Android environment, we can see the same changes take effect in the color of the text and the alert box content.